Hello and welcome back to our Rome campaign in Imperator Rome. The roaming Romans are back, roaming away. And I need to go and kill some pirates, because fuck piracy. Get off my shores, you bastards. Although I did forget to raise my maintenance, so I think I'm about to lose this fight. Oops. And I'm, I'm gonna win it, but I'm gonna lose too many ships. Uh, well, I lost six, they lost six. Then I gained two back again. That was a, a, a stupid of me. It only cost me three ducats extra, so I'm gonna raise the maintenance again. That was dumb, that was dumb. Whoops. All right, develop Apulia, I wanna do that. Uh, then that will lead into supply Apulia. I need to import two or more of the following trade resources. Uh, grain, vegetable, salt, fish, and livestock until in the end of the game I get plus one building slots. That's gonna be difficult, but that doesn't mean I need to uh, do another import route. We're currently importing furs. I need to import fucking grain. It's gonna be quite annoyingly difficult. You're four out of four, five out of five, and five out of five. While we've got some money, let's build some more marketplaces. Just as many as we can. I need to really pump them out. Looking up, we're no longer depressed. Fantastic. All right, and I think at some point we need to also attack Pyrrhus. I think we should do that now, actually, because there is a mission that we have uh, into Magna Gratia, which gives us slaves needed for surplus, negative one, and migration attraction and pop assimilation speed in Taras, which is not actually ours. So I do think I want to improve relations here so that I can integrate you and then that's not going to be a problem. Wait, you're a tributary? Fuck. I need to cancel the tributary status then. Does that give me a truce with you? I have no truces, so no. No, why? You were just about to say yes. Did you go below 80? Yes, you did. Hold games. Get your ass back above 80. Oh no, hmm, that's not good. It's still going down. How am I going to improve your popularity? I could put you in charge of this fleet. Oh, wow, you're good. Oh, that was an accident. That was an accident. Didn't mean to do that. I need you to not be a populist. I need you to be more military faction oriented. Being a marshal, sorry, being an admiral helps. That's actually going up, and this one's not going anywhere, so that's okay. Disagreeable console. Click on, all right, so lately we've seen a lot of disagreements between Lucius, Cornelius, Scipio, and Corvinus on how Rome should be ruled. Both of them are trying to push their own agendas through the Senate, often conflicting and even scheduling their debates to coincide with one another. Now a group of civic faction loyalists have approached Marcus about switching their loyalties to the military faction instead. Apparently there have been schisms between the civic faction, which in turn have led to their loyalties to the faction to waver. Publicly supporting these dissenters would surely end with hostilities between the two consuls of Rome. Alright, I see that working. I can't lose popularity. I need the popularity to declare war. So I'm going to do this. Lose 20 loyalty on Lucius. I'm okay with that. How am I going to get you more popular? I mean, you are sponsoring games, but clearly that isn't enough. Clearly that is not enough. Um, is there any inventions that I can take? Yes, I need 307 ducats, and then I can push that higher. Uh, I need a new orator. You don't want to give populists jobs, not yet. Uh, and then here we're going to go with some taxes because I need money. Yeah, I can't. I can't declare war. Uh, you need a new ruler, governor dude person. Let's go with you. And I have a scorned family. The... Cloudy eye. Okay, so maybe there's an office that I can give to a cloudy eye. You're pretty shit at your job, so maybe 
You're a Sempronii. You're the Sempronii good on jobs? No. I can only take them from the Fabii. So, who's a Fabii? You're a Fabii. And you're a Fabii. So, do you have any good members of the Cloudy Eyes? Like, what's your what are your stats? Trash. Uh, let's go back to characters. Um, show characters from a great family. Right. The Claudian, you're a researcher. You've already got a job. Um, we need somebody who does not have a job, who is a Cloudy Eye. Right. You. I need a new uh, civic researcher then. You're a minor character, so that's not going to affect anything. That's perfect. There we go. Fix the issues. Soon enough, we'll take this technology for due process. Um, all right. So the Greeks in Tarentum seek the friendship of Rome, offering us gifts for the, and their subservience. As the Tarentines are known for their prideful nature and earlier opposition to our expansion, this comes as a surprise to most of our senators. After a long, angry speech by Manius Curius Donatus, a large group of our senators question the motives of the Tarentines. They demand to even make the Tarentines proper clients of Rome or rebuke this pathetic offer. So, Rome gains Tarentine cavalry for 10 years, which is fucking awesome. Um, clients of Rome, I don't want them to become a tributary. Um... Or I can get 25 political influence. I'm gonna do that one. But I want this due process. It's kind of important. There we go. Popularity gain goes up. Let's have a look at my ruler again. It's now going up by 0.02. I don't know what exactly his popularity is though. It's 79 point something. Can you import anything yet? Nope, everyone still fucking hates us. Hey Egypt, do you want a friendship? You're miles away from wanting friendship. Macedon maybe? No. Carthage, absolutely no chance. I want to declare war on Tarentum for fuck's sake. They're allied with Korkira now. And they're in the big bloody Greek defensive league as well, which is annoying. God, no one wants to help me declare war. Let's have a look why. Um, from tyranny? Nothing. Okay. Uh, I need 80 popularity for 25%. Um, I need to be friends with the faction leader. You have negative five. Neither of the rulers of the Republic support this faction. Okay. Basically, friends with the faction leader would help. Not the same religion as the target ruler. Okay. You don't like us declaring war on the same religion, that's fair. I need to basically be friends with the leaders of the factions, and I should have done that a long time ago, but it gives you a lot of problems as well. Plus, we've got a an election coming up this year, in a few months' time, so I don't see the reason to do it just yet. You are... Unpopular as fuck, which is annoying. Um, the governor of Cisalpine Gaul gains 15 popularity. I wish that was me. On with the celebrations, that's fine. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to get my, uh, my war through now. You're almost military faction. It's going to happen. Can I, can I trade with anyone yet? Alright, influence of the Claudius family. The fate of the Republic and that of the Claudius family has always been intertwined. It's therefore a matter of great urgency that there are currently not enough Claudian persons of quality ready to shoulder the responsibilities of the state. Reorganizing the plight, sorry, recognizing the plight of two of our loyal clients have offered to fill a place that currently cannot be filled by anyone of the right birth. So we could take you, you're the general of the first uh, hunters, or we could take you, you're just a random minor character. 
Uh, I'm going to take the leader of the hunters. That seems fine. All right, we got a new ruler. Will you allow me to go to war? And let's also give you a job. Can I trade? Will anyone trade with me, please? All right. Uh, still can't declare war. Only 36 seats back me. All right, now that we've just got a new... Um, a new console, I think it is time now that we made friends with some of the other faction leaders. Uh, you, for starters, make friends with you. Oh, the military faction is the other one, so maybe that was stupid. <laughs> the leader, sorry, the co-consul of the military faction. All right, I'm actually going to say this is beneath us. It'd be nice to be friends with him, but at the same time, I'm not going to get tyranny trying to get you as a friend. Consul loses five popularity. I'm going to lose it anyway. Fine. Time for another bit of fleet action. This time, my morale is up. And they lost 26 ships. Perfect. Something new here. Army weight modifier would be nice. Wrong culture output. Sorry, happiness would be nice. So would wrong culture group happiness. Let's go with wrong culture happiness first. Eventually we'll do that one as well. Uh, I can now develop Apulia. There's a free development point. Making an impression. Uh, we're going to publicly praise Marcus Cornelius's deeds. Caractus the Slave. I'm going to gain the popularity. Unfortunately, I'm going to get the cut. Corruption as well. What piss. We will not tolerate slaves on the center floor. I just gained a bunch of. I got spurned. You bastard. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, let's try. Well, I'm the religious faction. I just try. I've got the military faction on side, kind of, with my co consul. Let's try the leader of the. What's your faction again? Mercantile. Alright. Uh, let's try and make friends with him. The Gladiator. Yes, you can have him. Caught red-handed event. Um, I can imprison the head of the Cornelii. No. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Uh, we're going to give you a tiger. Still at 36 seats. We're going to gain f some tyranny. Sure, why not? Now we're divided. And now we're naturally friends with the party leader. So if we check uh, to declare war again, and cancel that actually. Senate divided, but the mercantile faction is very much behind us. So now let's try with the civic faction after I get a new Pontifex Maximus. And there's a scorned family as well. It's not the Claudii this time, actually. It's the Sempronii. Well, again, the Fabii have a lot of jobs already. If I can swap one of the um, Sempronii, sorry, Fabii jobs with somebody else that is good. Let's have a look. Uh, characters. Employed from Great Family. We're looking for... Is it the Cornelii? No, Sempronii. Sempronii. Quintus Sempronius? You're pretty crap. The Sempronii, are, they don't have anyone that's good at anything. Apart from you. You're the governor of Cisalpine Gaul already, though. And you're the next best character in the entire family. That's kind of shit. All right, well, you're a Fabii. We can replace you with this guy. And then we'll get just a random dude here. Try trade again. 
again, there's nothing to trade. That's unfortunate. Right, and let's try and make friends with the leader of the uh, civic faction. Everyone likes gold. Yes, everyone does like gold. Speaking of, you're still sponsoring games, good. Also, the popularity is coming up very quickly as well. Um, gain five tyranny. Fine. Gaining the tyranny now will allow us to gain no tyranny later when we go to war. Uh, lose ten political influence. Yep, yeah, that's fine. New invention. I want that wrong culture group happiness. The part of the populists just died. I'm okay with this. That disloyal province is almost loyal now, which is super nice. And I'm now head. Uh, I'm now friends with the head of the Sempronii family and leader of the civic faction. So surely I'm close. I think I just need to be popular now. It goes down, I need to hold games, but you now no longer have enough money. Shite. Big, big shite. We're at 53, we need to get to 60. Let's have a look again. Military faction. I guess I just need to be... Friends with the ruler. I, I mean, we can try and befriend him again. I need to get rid of one of my friends, though. You're the head of the Cornelii family. You're the head of the civic faction as well. No, you're the head of the civic faction. I don't know what you are. Son of the Tribune of the Plebs. All right, uh, Cornelia. I don't. I don't know why I'm friends with you. Let's get rid of you, and we're gonna try again to befriend. The leader of the military faction. So we're going to get you some gold, even though I'm now have not got very much gold at all, which means I can't hold games, unfortunately. Publicly praise his deeds. I'm a secret pit fighter. All right. Um, lose five popularity, but get, make moderate. Moderate progress towards befriending him, sure. Ooh, we can hold games again. In Rome, there we go. And now we're friends with you as well. Surely that allows me to declare war. Come on. Come on, military faction. We're friends now. If the religious faction doesn't want to. Fucking hell, come on. So that 80 popularity is so fucking important. But being friends with three of the heads of the bloody factions is clearly not good enough. Who would you allow me to declare war on? Veneto? Even less people are behind me attacking Veneto. In Subria, we could attack. That would bring in Tarinia, which is tiny, and you as well. I mean, it'd be a decent chunk of territory. It'd also bring in Minapia for some ungodly reason. Guaranteed by... Janusha. Can't. Why would you accept this? 11, 7, 13, 17, 9. But not this. There's less people in the civic faction wanting to do it. Less people in the religious faction. Are you perhaps my religion? Yes, that's why. Hmm, fucking hell. Reisha, they also don't want to attack you. Probably because you're a republic. Syracuse, no. Carthage, yes. I, mean, I could attack Carthage and take this. But I wanted to attack here. Um, party leader loses five. Sorry, gains five popularity. Or you could lose five popularity and I gain some slaves. Uh, yes. Invest in other avenues. 
Oh, the coal console is actually the governor down here as well. That's pretty cool. Didn't know that was going to be a thing. Um, you don't need this anymore. Do some encouraged trading, I guess. This is still useful. You're doing 92%, your so that's fine. Encourage trade instead. 89% you can continue doing what you're doing. 71% need to do what you're doing. This needs religious, yeah. Keep doing that. This probably needs religious now as well. Same with here. And same with here. Start converting all these bastards up. Here, religion as well. Alright, let's see if that works out. Over here, we're still doing religion. We're up 45%, that's not bad. Alright, well I was hoping that I was going to be able to declare war without some tyranny. I've already taken 10 bloody tyranny. Can I declare war on any of the other fuckers? I could declare war on Kokita. That would bring in Tarendum. Alright, well that's what we're going to do in the next episode then, because I mean nothing else changes here. Kokita is actually in a completely different defensive league. It's a smaller one as well. But I think that's actually going to be better. So yeah, in the next episode we're going to go to war with Kokira, which will bring in Tarentum. We'll finish you off. We might even take some land down here. I might take Epirus, which would be nice. It would be nice. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put a cut in here. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.